Welcome to True and Unpolished, the podcast, a cusp culture production. Through this podcast, our intention is to uplift, inspire, and amuse. Let's get authentic. Hello, everybody. It's Lydia here from True and Unpolished, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Rather than give you uh, an entire episode with Mary and I, or Mary, I, and a guest, uh, we were inspired to invite you to something. Uh, We talk a lot about intuition and about knowing that the universe is always talking to us, whether it's through dreams or uh, the metaphor and what we see or uh, words that a friend says to us, or just a knock on our heart's door. And I feel like I've become pretty, pretty darn good at listening to those messages from the universe and following them. And this week, what happened for me is I realized that there was just this one message from the universe that apparently I was ignoring over and over and over again. It was almost, and I would get the knock and I would, I would get the intuition and I would say, mm, no, I would just reject it. And then I would get the intuitive knock again. I'd get the message from the universe again. And I'd go, no, no way. I'd reject it again. Until finally this week, The universe dumbed it down for me so much that there was no way that I could possibly ignore it. And I'd like to tell you that I fully embraced the message. And that wouldn't be true. I am in the process of embracing the message. The reason why it has taken me this long to do is because it's hard. It's not an easy message that the universe is giving me. And so I'm being gentle with myself and I'm allowing myself some grace and just becoming willing to listen to the message. And so today on True and Unpolished, what I would like, what Mary and I would like to invite you to do is just to sit with the question, is there a message that the universe, God, your intuition, whatever word you use to describe it, is there a message that you maybe have been ignoring or even rejecting from the universe? You would know because there would be this message coming kind of over and over again. That would be a clue that there is something you are rejecting, a message you are rejecting. And so I leave you with this. We leave you with this. Sit in the question. It can be so powerful to sit in a question and just gently invite yourself to ask. Is there something I'm ignoring? Is there a message I'm not ready for yet? And if you're not ready, give yourself grace not to be ready. And maybe just say, I am willing to be ready. That can be enough. Okay, until next week. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, wait. I have, a, I have an outro line, everybody, and I'm not saying it. Hold on. Take two. You have been listening to True and Unpolished, the podcast. Let's see what happens next. <laughs>